Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are the worst books that I read in 2023. So these are not in any particular order, but they are the worst books that I read each month. So as I was reading each month, I always ranked the top three favorite books, and if you're interested in what my best top ten books of 2023 were, you can go ahead and check out that video. I'll have it linked here. Otherwise, I also said what was the worst book of the year. So I'm going to go through each month and say what the worst books that I read this year were. So again, the only particular order is going throughout the year not necessarily and this book was worse than this book um but these do not include dnfs i did not include dnfs on this list because i only wanted to do books that i did read all the way through although i did have a few dnfs this year as well so let's get started the worst book of january for me was monsters born and made by Tanvi berwa this author actually has another book coming out that sounds really interesting and I'm very on the fence if I want to read it or not. Um, just because this book, it did not keep my attention very well. It was, you know, it's described as like a hunger game meets mythology meets this and I just felt like so little was happening. Like, I don't know, it, the, the plot of it sounded really good and I was really excited to read it, but I think just the writing and the execution fell so flat for me. So, but it's such a pretty book that I'm probably gonna keep it. But yeah, it was it was predictable, it, was, it wasn't as unique as I was hoping it would be, and so it really let me down in January. And then in February, my worst book was These Violent Delights by Koei Gong. I read both of these books, These Violent Delights and These Vicious... I don't remember the second one, but I read it too. I just did not like these. I know they're really popular and there's a whole bunch of hype, but I did not like them. I should have DNF to them, but I didn't. I just... I did not feel the chemistry. I know a lot of people did with the characters, and if these are your favorite books, I'm sorry, this is personal opinion, but I did not feel the chemistry between the characters, and there was so much, like, gang talk that I couldn't root out any actual plot, or, you know, I just wasn't attached to the characters. I wish there was more. I just, for how long of a book it was, I wish there was more in-depthness, but at the same time, I didn't understand anything that was going on. I just didn't care for the characters, so that was a huge letdown for me. In March, I read The Davenports, and this is a 1920s historical fiction about a rich black family in Chicago who makes, um, like, old carriages and things like that, but now automobiles are on the rise, and they're kind of like, what do we do? And it was, it kind of felt like it was supposed to be a Jane Austen, but like 1920s feel. And again, it just kind of fell flat. Like it felt like there was a pivot in the book and the characters I were rooting for were like the side characters that were barely mentioned. I did not like our main character much at all. I could not relate to her in any way. And she just seemed like a child rather than an adult. <laughs> who was looking to get married and so there was just a lot with it that I was like mm, no so I just didn't like it very much and then in April my worst book was The Wicked Remain by Laura Pohl this is the second book in a dark academia duology the first one is called uh, The Grimrose Girls and I liked the first one this one I don't know what happened but like crap hit the fan and it just didn't work out in my opinion. I was really over it. I felt like the characters were changed. I just, it just didn't flow with the way that I was hoping it would and it didn't flow in a way that was better than what I was thinking in my opinion. So I did not like this and I think it really brought the duology down quite a bit. 
which was really disappointing because the first book I read and I was like this is all right this could either get a lot better or a lot worse and I think it got a lot worse so such a bummer but it's like these princess reincarnations who are going to school and then they're dying yeah it just it just did not work for me in May I read a book called a hot Dutch daydream and I read this in May because it took place in the Netherlands and I was trying to read a bunch of travel books especially with books where we were going to travel to and already the title of it I was like mm, I don't know if I'm really gonna like it just just the title I didn't like and the cover I didn't like and I know don't judge a book by its cover but the title I just didn't like it but I tried to keep in mind open mind going into it and I tried to let it surprise me and it was just bad like this girl has this amazing opportunity to go to the Netherlands to be like a research assistant kind of thing for this teacher which like already is pretty impossible um and she barely does any of that and she doesn't meet or talk to people except for this guy who she doesn't like but then they fall in love except it didn't seem like the chemistry wasn't there it made no sense to me this whole relationship and everything like that so yeah I, I tried I wanted to like it just because I didn't like the title but no don't read this in June the worst book that I read was one of my most hyped books I think it was on either my five star predictions or like 23 books I need to read in 2023 possibly both and it was the worst book I read in June and that was witches steeped in gold I didn't get any of it I was so excited for this because it was Caribbean mythology it was like I think Jamaican mythology and you know that is right down my alley I love reading mythology but I the, the characters and the plot and I just I did not it was not clicking I was not enjoying it the entire time I was reading it I was like wow I should really DNF this but then I was like no it's on my five-star prediction I have to read it I have to finish it and uh, I didn't I mean I did finish reading it but I didn't like it and I'm not gonna read the other book so that was a huge disappointment it was really surprising that I didn't like it because I was so excited for it so yeah, that was just a long book of nothing, and it did not make sense to me. July was the Jasmine Throne. Again, like, I couldn't tell you much of what this book was about. Like, I reflect on it, and it just, I again, it did not capture my attention. I was sitting there, and I was trying to read it so hard, and it just, it didn't capture me. It was really slow. I think it may have been a little sweet, like, romantically, but... I honestly can't remember because it was not enough to make an impression on me and just the rest of the book I just it's gone it's gone it was not memorable it just yeah so it was my worst book of July and then my worst book in August was a book called where we end and begin and this book it's about a woman who's from Nigeria and she goes back home for a wedding and she and it's like a second chance romance which already isn't my favorite trope but like I was reading it for the setting I was reading it for Nigeria because yay for representation and everything but the romance bothered me so much I I hated both of the characters I did not like the relationship there was no chemistry like and what I wanted from the book it didn't give and I was very sad and disappointed by that. So it was definitely the worst book that I read in August. In September, the worst book that I read was The Daughters of Izdahar. Not necessarily because it was a bad book. It was just the worst book that I read that month. But I do want to read more from this author. They have another book coming out that I'm going to try, but I'm not super sure I'm going to like it either. I think just how they mix things together doesn't flow with me very well I think like their writing style and my reading just don't match up very well so I'm not saying that it's a bad book I'm just saying it wasn't a good book for me personally um 
because the idea of it was really cool and I did for the most part like the plot and like the romance subplot but the way it was executed was not very clear and there were just certain elements that I wished were talked about more over other elements so I mean yeah not like the worst book of the year but <laughs> October. The worst book I read in October was Jade War. I know, I know. There are so many books on this list that were, I was so excited to read. I was like, this is gonna be a five star or a must read. I'm gonna love it. And they just fell flat. Now, I read Jade City and that was good. I read the other one and, and I tried Jade War and I just, it, if it had been one book, that would have been great. Because I really liked the premise behind it. I really liked the whole idea of Jade, but I think it just had a similar issue with these Violent Delights where, you know, this was a really cool idea, really cool concept. Why did you do that to the characters? Why did you execute it like this? The writing was not great. Oof. So again, all my personal opinions. So if you loved it, good for you. I'm happy for you. But, um, I could not stand Jade War. I would just, I had lost interest in the characters. Like, I was invested in the characters in the first book, which is why I kept reading. But I lost the investment in the characters. And then there was nothing else going for me for it. So, yeah, that's, that's why I didn't like it. In November, the worst book that I read was Together We Burn. This was a dragon book. I read it for a dragon reading vlog that I was doing. Um, because I had read Iron Flame and oh my goodness. But Together We Burn was a Spain-inspired dragon story where you literally take bullfighting in Spain, the, the tradition in modern day, or the tradition of Spain, but instead of having it be bullfighting, it's dragons, and that's what it was. And you've got like a flamenco dancer, her mother just passed, her mother was a great flamenco dancer, and apparently nobody likes her original flamenco. And her dad is like a, a dragon fighter and there's this huge accident that happens in their ring and blah 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 etc and so forth. Again, it was it was very interesting to read about and read all the like Spanish influences, but I was wanting so much more from this book, especially when it came to the dragons. It felt like all the way up until the very end of the book, you literally could have substituted the dragon with bulls and nothing would have changed. Which is a bummer, because I was really looking forward to the dra dragon aspect, but all it was is in the context of, like, we capture them and fight them, and then at the very end of the book, it started to give the dragons a little something, but not enough, and it just fell completely flat. And, like, I felt like the characters were kind of basic, and the plot of it was kind of basic, you know, I I'd, I'd, I'd read that storyline before, but I was excited because it was in a Spanish setting with dragons, and then that just didn't work out how I was hoping so it was a bit of a letdown yeah and finally the last disappointing like worst book that I read in 2023 was in December and it was the blacksmith queen I had read this book because I saw somebody else who read it and loved it and I just could not stand it I didn't like the plot I felt it was moving so slowly and I was like waiting for the characters to get to the thing that you know, you already know because of the title of the book, and then, and then it just happened, and then, like, now what? It just, it's a series, and I do not feel motivated to continue with it. I just did not like the plot and the characters, eh. So, yeah. Those are the worst books of 2023. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when I post on Wednesdays, and comment down below. What were some of your worst books of 2023 or what books are you hoping to read and enjoy in 2024? Again, thank you all very much for watching and until I see you in the next one, happy reading!